First of all we need to set the J-pad to mode 5 which is the switch control mode. To do that we put the unit into learn mode which means I press and hold the feature button at the back for a couple of seconds until it emits a warbling beep. The LED, the red LED at the front lights to indicate that we are in learn mode. If I now move the joystick down I get a single beep. That tells me I'm in mode 1. If I want to change that, I must move the joystick down again. This time I get two beeps, so we're in mode 2. Mode 3, mode 4, and finally mode 5, which is the mode I actually want. Once I hear the number of beeps that corresponds with the mode setting that I require, all I do is simply press the feature button briefly, I get a warbling tone again, the LED goes out and we're all set. It's particularly important that I set up JPad to mode 5 as I've just shown you before I start making any settings on the iPad. Once I have then I can go to settings, general, accessibility, switch control. Now you'll see I've got no switch functions set up at the moment and in fact I'm going to need to set three so that JPad will do what I need it to. So we'll go through that process now by going to switches, add a new switch, external and now I'm going to move the stick once to the right and now I need to enter the name of it and I'm going to keep it as intuitive as I can as usual and I'm going to type stick right. Save. Now I need to set a function for that movement. Now when I move the stick to the right naturally I want to scan to the right so in fact I'm going to assign that to move to next item and now you'll see it on the screen here. I'm now going to repeat the process but this time move the stick once to the left now I need to type its name and I'm going to call it stick left and I'm going to assign it the function move to previous item. And lastly I need to set up the green button. Add a new switch, external, press the green switch and now type in green button and I'm going to assign that to the function select item and that is all I need to do to set up JPad to work on iPad switch control. Notice that I didn't need to program the red button that always functions as home and that function is inherent to iPad there's no need to program it at all if I now return to the switch control main menu then I'm in a position to be able to turn on switch control. First of all though, I'm going to turn auto scanning off because JPad is a manual scanning device and auto scanning can't be on at the same time and in fact if I did leave it on it would simply turn itself off anyway. All that remains is just to turn on switch control now using the slider at the top and now I'm in switch control mode and the J-pad is ready to use. Now I'd like to give you a quick demonstration of how J-pad can be used with switch control. If I move the stick up or down that allows me to scan line by line until I get the, to the app that I'd like to launch. In this particular example I'm going to launch the camera app. Once I get to the line if I press the green button, then I can scan within the line, either to the right or to the left. Notice that, as usual with switch control, once I get to the end, then a dotted cursor appears around that line. And if I now press the green button again, then I come out of scanning within the line and I can scan line by line again. So to go back into the line, press the green button and scan to the camera app at the end. Press the green button again and I go into the app. I can also scan within the app as usual in any direction 
and eventually I get to the shutter release and if I press the green button I take a picture. Once I finish with this particular app if I press the red button that's equivalent to pressing the home button on the iPad itself and I'm back to the home screen and I can continue scanning as usual. I hope that's been useful. Thanks very much for watching.